All right, here we go. So compounding calculations, we're jumping straight into some examples here, okay? So the first thing we want to talk about is reducing um, and enlarging formulas, all right? So one thing that I want you to note as the technician, okay? Um, the recipe has to be provided by the pharmacist, all right? So technicians don't drum up their own recipes. The pharmacist does and they pass it over to the tech and you as a technician will be the person that is, um, if you would, making the medication, all right? But basically when we're enlarging formulas or reducing a formula, it's nothing more than multiplication and division. So whenever you say enlarge, you're saying I want to multiply, okay? Whenever you're saying reduce, you're saying I want to divide it. So I want to take, um, and, and if any of us cook here, okay? then you understand enlarging and reducing. So you might have one big box of brownies. You might have one box of brownies, right? That can make enough brownies. One box can make enough brownies for four people, right? But you have 16 people coming. So what would you do? You would need to enlarge this formula, right? Because you need to make it fit for 16 people and one box is only fit for four people. So what would you do? You would multiply this by some number, okay? And in this case, we know that four, if, if one box is good for four people, then four goes into 16 four times, so the number would actually be four. So you would need four boxes of brownies, all right, to, to create a formula that's enough for 16 people. All right, so that's what enlarging looks like. Now let's just say we had, um, a big mega family box of brownies, right? And we only had four people, but the mega box was big enough for 16 people. Well, what do we need to do in that case? We need to do what we call reducing. So we would take the 16 people box, all right? And we would have to do some division because we need to reduce it, all right? So that's just Hoping you understand that concept on uh, compounding calculations and when dealing with concentrations. All right, now let's put some things into play. All right, so here's a recipe. All right, I want using um, this recipe, I want you to enlarge it. So I want you guys to uh, go ahead and, and try your hand at this. Go ahead and try working it um, because now you guys are, are, are now in your, in your math, your development as you've been going through lessons. You're getting more developed now to where you can start approaching problems on your own. So I want to get in your reasoning and I want you to try your hand at working these problems before I give you the walkthrough. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and, and try working that. I want you to uh, enlarge this recipe. So basically make it greater. And I'm going to give you uh, two to three minutes on that. What's your answer? It'd be times two. Okay, okay. All right, good. You do it twice. Okay, good. Angie, you cook, don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. This this listen, this is nothing more than a recipe. Okay. I know they have all these fancy uh medication names there. All right, but I want you to imagine if it said eggs, flour, sugar okay uh, uh, vanilla coloring all right so um this is nothing more than like cooking all right and your answer is correct now walk me through how you how you got that give give us the give us the logic on it how, how did you go about getting that too because aaron's like aaron's like i want to know yeah i did <laughs> well i probably did the wrong i probably did it the long way because okay i converted the 320 milligrams over into grams and then I added everything together 
and times it by two to get the 1,000, but I'm sure the easier way would have been to, there was the 500 grams up at the top and we want to come up with a thousand, so. That's right, that's right. So look, so look, you, indeed you were right. You did it the long way, but you got the answer and you were able to explain it, okay? So I'll give you that. But let me show you guys how you need to do this, okay? All right, so it says a procedure for making 500 grams of, of antibiotic ointment. So this is what we have, okay? Um, and of course, once you put all this, this is like the recipe. All right, but we got 500 grams of this ointment, okay? Now, we need 1,000. All right, so when they ask us, like, what are we trying to get? We're trying to get 1,000 grams, but we only have 500, all right? So basically, like, what do we need to do with this recipe to do that? Angie already gave us the answer, which she said to multiply two, which is true. Because remember, when you're enlarging anything, you're multiplying, all right? But we need to if you would use a, a reverse engineering method to get that answer to. So basically what we would do, we wouldn't multiply to get that answer to, we would do the opposite, we would divide. So we take the, we would take what we need and divide it by the 500, which is what we have on hand. And it's going to give us two. It's gonna give us two. So basically we know we need to multiply this whole thing by two in order to get this 1,000. That's all, that's it, boom, that's it. Remember when I taught you about the, the box of brownies and enlarging, you had four people and one box was enough for four, but you have 16 people that showed up. How many, more, how many boxes do you need now? You just need to take the, the one box and multiply it, right? So basically none of the ingredients really counted. All we had to do is divide. That was, all, that was all just there to throw you off. Oh, well, it definitely did that for me. Yeah, it was all just there to throw you off. That's so it. So basically, we just needed to a thousand divided by the five hundred. That's right, because this recipe but, is one. But why are we? Why exactly are we dividing when it has enlarging again? That's could right. you explain that to me? Because good, good question. Because we we reverse engineered it. Okay. We first engineered it. That's it. So technically to get the thousand, we know we have to multiply because it's asking us to enlarge. Like we're going from a smaller number to a bigger. We're doubling. So we okay. knew we had to multiply. But to reverse engineer to figure out what the missing piece was, we have to do the opposite. Okay. Right. You understand that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and I always like to break things down into real life analogy. So it's like if you say all right, I have $20, but the thing, the, the, I don't know, let's just say the, 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 I don't know, name, name me an object or something. Like, okay. The, the phone case that I want costs $25, but I only mm -hmm. have 20. How many dollars do I need to buy the phone case? Well, you wouldn't add, you wouldn't, you would add $5 to buy it, but to reverse engineer, you would subtract the 25 minus. 20. Exactly. Okay. All right. So that's that's essentially what you're doing here. You're just okay. Question. All right. Everybody understand this concept. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on.